What's up, buds? How's it hanging? I'm Greg. I'm Bob. And today we're going to be watching an episode of Hoarders on the actual A&E YouTube channel. So hopefully they don't copyright strike us to death. Please, <laughs> please don't kill us with the copyright. <laughs> uh, but before we get into it, if you like our faces, leave us a like. And if you want to subscribe, then you should subscribe, man. You should do it. You should totally do it. Please and thank you. So without further ado, let's watch what is supposed to be the worst horde in the show's history. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Watching Shanna. What is that? Is this poop? Yes. Ooh, dude. When I walked in for the first time, it was like a shock. I bet. My mom had a friend growing up that had a house that was kind of like this, but it was nowhere near as bad. I grew up with a friend, and his, his, the people that were raising them were, were kind of like that. Like, they literally had a room of the house. Like, they had sectioned off. Cause, That's like, what it, it was. Some, it was yeah. a room that had all yeah. a bunch of stuff piled up in it. Like, they couldn't even open the door and stuff. The citation was addressed to Shanna, but she gave it to me to deal with. All right. <laughs> Well, I'm a, I'm I'm guessing this woman isn't like mentally stable. She said she's, she's on disability. Yeah. I wouldn't say like I'm the like a neat freak or anything, but I definitely couldn't deal with even half of that. It was already very cluttered. It was two people ordering instead of one. Oh, so it was her and her mom. Okay. That's terrible. Two hoarders? Yeah, just feeding off each other. Shannon and her mother lived closed off from the outside world for many years until her mom died. I think that house very well contributed to my mom's death. You think? Probably. Oh! Especially if she died from, like, cancer or something. Yeah. There's some bags of plastic bottles in there. My mother used to put poop in a jug. Why? You, that's what all those dirty water jugs are about. They mean dirty water jugs. They were dirty shit jugs, lady. And she's just talking about it like it's normal. Yeah. This house has a septic issue. You think? I would hope so. I was kind of hoping the toilet didn't function because if you're just shitting in bottles for no reason, you don't want it to overflow. She said there's still space in the toilet, but she doesn't want it to overflow. A bucket. Apparently, there's like a septic tank that they just never got emptied or something. And they just decided to start shitting in buckets. When the bucket is full of pee and poop, it's really hard to lift it. <laughs> so they just put it in a small. This shit is bucket. so normal to her. And she just sits there and talks about it. Like any normal human, if they were doing this, I feel like would not brag about it or yeah. talk about it. How many times has she spilled that shit in there? Just like, oh god, dude. Even the thing, like, she's just okay with like it being right underneath her nose, and she's just sitting there casually, like, I don't know what to do with this diarrhea poop water. She's probably nose blind to it, dude. I imagine she doesn't work if she's on disability, so she's probably in that house all the time. And she's just dumping it in her yard. No neighbors have said anything to me about it either, though. How have they not? Man, I smell like shit around here all the time. I wonder Man. why. I don't know what I'm, if I was thrown out, I'd have no place to go. You know what? At this point, it might be better for you. Like, that's sad whenever you think like being homeless might be a better living condition, dude. It'd be cleaner. It, it would be that. That's what I'm saying. There'd be less yeah. diseases. Is that poop all over the bucket? Is that poop all over the bucket? That she just has with her hand? Ew, dude. Are you going to wash your hands for that or are you just going to worry about it? No, actually, I don't. This is a bit she doesn't wash her hands? I guess she doesn't have plumbing. How would she wash her hands? I guess I'm one decision away from pooping in a bucket right now. <laughs> I actually need to go to the bathroom and I, I can't do it. No, hell no. Go to the damn gas station, bro. Yeah. She really loves her buckets. It's the bucket mm. she poops in. Which can't make it inside. What? What? There's another bucket. Mister, sure smells like poop. She just got shit buckets everywhere. How bad do you shit? How long has she been doing this? Oh, her, it was her and yeah, her mom. That's so. true. She probably kept some of her mom's poo buckets for cinnamon. That's what she said. She said this was the one that uh, yeah, whenever the one she was touching. Your food. Oh yeah. Yeah, she <laughs> said she was her mom's. She's eating two feet from all the poop. 
urine. Do you think I meet the definition? Come on, man. That shit gets in the air, too. Like, the poop particles and stuff. That's why you're not supposed to keep your, like, toothbrush and stuff in the bathroom. Really? Yeah. Like, it's not enough to where you get sick and stuff, but just knowing that it's on there. Yeah. What is the main cause of the smell? A uh, musty, musty odor. Having to do with mold and dust. The mold and dust? No! Yeah. Not the poop bucket? He's in urine that's in the house. Look at those chunks! Look at all those chunks! That's all piss and shit! Okay, so it's still musty. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, okay, so we agree that it's musty. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's musty because the fucking musty ass piss. Oh, it's 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 not the dust. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She looks stunned. What do you mean is the shit in my buckets? What are you talking about? How could you ever assume this? <laughs> She couldn't believe it, dude. She looked fucking like she was gonna have a brain aneurysm. Like, what are you telling me? The thing is, is like, even though, like, she's obviously mentally ill. Like, how does that how still do you, not compute? Yeah, I, I feel like even somebody that has, like, actual, like, mental retardation would know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I just don't... Uh... I mean, no disrespect there, obviously. Maybe, maybe it's that she knows and she just doesn't want to admit to it. She's in denial. And she's embarrassed. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, I thought, she don't seem like she's embarrassed. She's showing it to the whole world. She's like, yeah, these are my shit buckets. I got them all around the house. That's true. What was it like for you? This is easily the most disturbing house I've ever been in. I've seen some pretty crazy stuff growing up in the ghetto as a poor kid, and I'd never seen anything that bad. Because people would have called you out for that shit, though. A lot of this stuff has never even been opened. Okay, knowing the contaminants and all the stuff that's in here, do you really, really, really want to be putting this stuff in your body? Okay, I guess let it go. All right. Like, the cans and stuff would probably be okay, but anything open, yeah, I would toss. Yeah. This is covered in mold. It might be a little bit moldy because I don't have a freezer. So you <laughs> in? No, I'm going to pick the mold off. We're just going to pick the mold off, Bob. Anxiety. The hoarder in her. This is the first time in hoarder history I've ever suited up. No matter how many times <laughs> I try to explain to her, there are contaminants in the air. There's cross contamination going on. The outside of the can. I'm surprised she isn't sick from urine, all that, dude. Yeah, I don't. It's not she has to have the world's best immune system. Not getting it. I'm not mm. getting we found out where coronavirus started. Right. This bitch's house right here. <laughs> all the damn them, shit. Them moving all this stuff around, no. dusted it up. Yeah. Oh no. That was probably poo water. And these are volunteers, dude. They got hearts of gold, bro. They are I the, do this for free. Yeah, they're the definition of not getting paid enough to do this job. They probably didn't know what they were getting into, dude. No. Like, oh, you you want to come in and help us on this day? Yeah, all right, well, we got a couple hazmat suits for you. Wait, what? Because <laughs> they, they do multiple days. Could you imagine, like, the first day? And having to come back and try to get people to come back yeah, the second day? Like, uh, fuck you! <laughs> they have to go out and get completely new people. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna clean our house. Yeah, just a house. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's a normal house. No poop and piss. Imagine having that job. I sense that you're angry. Yo. Tell me what you're angry about. My mom died of cancer and that's... Oh, it was cancer. There might actually be some validity to that. Yeah. Those are some nice trees. Too bad they probably got grovel poop. <laughs> they probably got poop on them. <laughs> Clearly a family divided. That's fine. You don't fix it overnight. If we just I don't understand how any of them could go in there and there be piss and poo jugs everywhere and they just do nothing about it until this show comes along. It's like they wanted this to happen. It's like they're just waiting for their 15 minutes of fame. There was an episode that I was watching where, like, the whole, like, show happened because this lady saw inside of her neighbor's window. Really? Yeah, like, she was friends with the lady that was living uh, next door, but they, she had never been in her house. And she just, like, looked in her window one day, and she was just like, holy crap! It's kind of crazy how many of these people that end up being hoarders are school teachers, too. Yeah. I specifically held off on watching this episode, but I've been watching a lot of the other ones. And there's a lot of school teachers. And I noticed that it's rare that you actually get somebody that's as cooperative as it, as this lady is. Like, I'll give this lady that. She's being cooperative. 
Yeah, yeah normally the people like scream, kick, you know, cry and yell at you. Yeah. Like, how dare you take that two liter bottle away from me? Yeah, I, wa- I literally watched one earlier where this lady was freaking out about like paper that had been on the ground for like 10 years. Wow. Yeah. It's just, I wonder what causes that, man. Like, what, what could cause that? Like, something just obviously went like wrong. Wrong, yeah, somewhere. It's weird. My grandma used to get called a hoarder because, like, all the shit she used to keep in her basement. But that's the thing. Like, it never got nearly as bad. As yeah. Like, I don't a think difference she was a hoarder. In, yeah, there's a difference in having a lot of stuff and being a hoarder. Yeah. She just, like, sales. I almost picked my respirator. Oh, that would be a crappy situation. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad when you can still smell it through all them fucking respirators and shit, dude. Do you know one of those jugs busted open on somebody? Oh, yeah. Somebody got AIDS working in this house. <laughs> it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna give up some stuff. Some. The look of disbelief on these people's faces is hilarious. Because I have to get it, because when somebody goes on intervention, they want to get high one last time. What? Wait, what? What is she talking about? She had to eat the food that was contaminated. Contaminated food, a party. I'm. And she's likening it to a drug addict? Yeah! Poop for 12 years. I've been eating poop for 12 years. What does it matter now? They had to bring out a whole fucking septic truck. I wonder why. We want to get high one last time. You're getting a high out of thinking that you've got She's on that jankum, bro. Food. You ever heard of jankum? Yeah, jankum. <laughs> they do that shit in Africa. <laughs> Shit in bottles and let it ferment and then huff it. Yeah. I want some drink them. <laughs> just. <laughs> <I'm> so <laughs> by that, that is disturbing. She's just been sitting in there constantly, just like baked from like all the bottles in there. Like, okay. dude, she probably has been. So we're she used to be normal. <laughs> I didn't even fucking think about that. That's why she has disabilities. <laughs> this is the end of you pooping in a bucket. Why does she look like she's questioning that? Like, yeah. I don't know. Exactly. Kind of like pooping in the bucket. <laughs> My greatest concern is what's going to happen when we leave. Yeah, this is going to go... I mean, obviously, it's going to take years for it to get back to the way it was. They're going to have to remove her from the house. They're going to have to have somebody take care of her. She's obviously not fit to take care of herself. And she's getting high off eating, thinking that she's eating oh, fucking shit on her food. Yeah. I think that was just her trying to make some kind of weird parallel and her mental disability just didn't yeah. <laughs> didn't calculate the words right. A professional opinion that she's not capable of living alone. Yeah. Yeah. Not because she is a compulsive hoarder, it's because cognitively she can't live alone. We've got to They must have just been like giving her the benefit of the doubt for like the longest time or something but yeah. you would think it it would be super obvious bro you could tell just by like having a conversation with her that she's not right yeah nola has agreed that she, you can stay at her house for a short period of time until we can get some resources and i'm going to turn it over to your therapist to continue the process once i'm gone i thought i'd be coming back to live but i and i won't be you know what she kind of reminds me of how Zach Galifianakis a- acts, like, but she's like an actual version of it. Yeah. Have to strip everything down. Like I could totally see Zach Galifianakis playing a character like her. Nothing is selfish. Yeah, I could too. Money wise, about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. God damn. If we just bulldozed it and built a new home, you could build this. Home <laughs> Save five thousand dollars. Brand new home would be less than trying to save this. Another thing I've noticed in this is like they say that these people can still sell these houses. If it's gonna take 145,000 to build a brand new house, who the hell's gonna buy it? Unless they want the land for cheap, maybe. Yeah. I well, you, hey, the soil is rich. Oh, right there. That's right. You could, you could have a hell of a garden. Yeah. Biggest tomatoes you ever seen in your life. You're an awesome lady. You need to be in a place that's gonna help you with with your needs. Hopefully they got that lady the help she needed, because that was freaking crazy. I'm glad I never ran into anything like that in real life. I just... 
I couldn't imagine being comfortable and in that headspace where you just think shitting in a bucket and is normal. Pour, yeah, and pouring it out by hand and shit is normal. I I just. Well, no. She said she didn't wash her hands, bro, and she'd be sitting there eating. That's she so was nasty. Eating shit, like literally, dude. She was like literally eating shit. She was right next to it. I don't know. But, like we said, hopefully she got the right amount of help that she needs and is doing well now. But, uh, that's been the episode of Hoarders. Apparently it's the worst hoard in the show's history, and uh, I could be inclined to believe that. Yeah, that uh, was definitely one of the worst ones I've seen. Yeah, if you guys have anything that you would want us to watch or react to, just let us know in the comments or somehow. But, uh... Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and do you. Peace, Peace. Nuts.